Hi, I've just returned from uh, Frisbee Base Camp. Um, whilst there, everyone in the group said that uh, it would have been nice to know what to take. Um, we went in April, um, so the weather was quite good, uh, but saying that it did obviously turn quite a few times, so you need to be prepared. So hopefully this video will be um, a bit of advice um, and, and useful. The key thing um, for everything is the base layers. I wore this base layer, uh, mountain equipment, for 14 days. Um, one thing that uh, surprised us all when you set off, you're only allowed 10 kilos, so you do need to be quite frugal on your clothing. So I wore this for two weeks. It uh, makes sure that all the, the base layers you wear are wick, so they keep you nice and dry. And then the second layer I wore this uh, as a as an overlayer. So for the first three or four days, I just w wore these two um, whilst it was warm. And then at, at a higher level, then you need to go into the um, thermals. And please make sure that you get a merino merino wool, should I say? Because the merino wool does actually not smell. I mean, that's a useful thing. So these 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 three. The base layers are really important and you do swap and change because the weather can change from um, hour to hour. So you can set off in the morning when it's cold then it gets up to about 60, 70 degrees. Obviously whilst you're walking um, it gets quite warm and then the weather can come in in the afternoons mainly and it can be windy so you need to make sure you've got the layers in your day pack. Um, base layers Merino wool underpants, fantastic. Only took two pairs of underpants with me, and uh, they were absolutely amazing. And as I said before, merino wool does not smell. Um, merino um, uh, long johns, and then for the trousers, I bought these. These are a mount equipment. Um, I forgot their name. Exolite trousers. They're stretch, fantastic, Rel rel relatively windproof. Uh, and shower proof but they were great really really comfortable and then I've got a pair of um, waterproofs which you would need in your bag because waterproofs obviously and windproof because it can blow a gale and it can be freezing so they're the sort of three trousers that you need uh, bottom pair of trousers that you need mid layers in conjunction with this I had uh, a micro fleece for the lower lower levels and then I then got this, um, um, I've forgotten the name of it now, it's a, a Bastion jacket, which is uh, not, not um, it's not down, but it's padded. But this was fantastic, because you could either use it under your main jacket or as a jacket. Um, so I found this was absolutely fantastic. Um, up to the, the main layers, you need two jackets. You will need, obviously, a Gore-Tex. Uh, these are wind resistant and waterproof. You will definitely need these uh, in the afternoons at, a high, at the higher altitudes. Um, they're nice and lightweight, but you know you can you can buy cheap uh, waterproofs, but you need them breathable. So this is, uh, as I say, a, a Gore-Tex Pro, and it's fantastic. Very easy to pack up and leave in your bag. Then, as you get a bit higher, and at night time especially, you will need a down jacket. Lots of people um, didn't bring one of these, but actually hired it when they were in uh, Namche. You can hire these for something like €7. Euros. They were so cheap, but uh, they seemed quite good value. But I bought one, but, uh, I use it quite a lot here in the UK. So that's a definite, uh, but for the higher levels. And, and when we've actually got past... Uh, La, uh, La Boche up to Gorachep and base camp. I wore that during the day. Um, socks. You need a pair, a lower sock or an under sock, nice and lightweight. These are Bridgestone, um, uh, Bridgedale, sorry, and then then the thicker sock to go on the top. Um, you will obviously take two or three, four pairs of these. At the higher level, you would need a thicker pair. Uh, but I took about four pairs, two pairs of underpants. Gloves, you need lower, lower light gloves for the lower levels. 
and then definitely you need these uh, thicker ones for the sort of the upper levels because it get, gets very very cold when it's windy. One thing that you will need is the um, what's it called them. Uh, um, I don't even know what you call them, but it's, uh, you put it around your neck and um, at a higher level you'll need these because this is um, fleece to keep your neck warm. But most importantly you just put these over your mouth because um, this is quite lightweight. So you can put it on your head or you can put it as um, um, around your neck. But uh, put this over your mouth because in the lower levels you will get uh, a cough. And then if you put it over your mouth, it keeps your, um, stops your, your throat getting dry and it will stop getting a cough. Water bottle and bladder. So I have a bladder for the, uh, um, for the uh, backpack. Um, and uh, you need to drink at least four litres of water a day. You would absolutely be told every two minutes about uh, drinking the water. In this bottle, I put the... Um, the um, zeros these are for you know just to give you a bit to, to give you your uh, 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 electrolytes so it's very useful um, sticks won't be without the sticks found those that they were absolutely essential you need good hat um, and also you need a, a woolen hat as well so because at high, you know this is only for the first couple of days because it's quite sunny but it uh, gets very cold in a higher level, so you definitely need a, uh, a beanie. And then lots of different things in the uh, your packs. You need a, a good medical kit. So you need your uh, anti-nausea, uh, altitude and uh, diarrhea tablets, uh, rehydration tablets, as, um, sachets as well that you need. Of course, you need pumpies uh, um, for your... Um, blisters and throat lozenges, uh, strepsils, erosets, um, dam cream, def um, cream and sun cream definitely that you definitely need sun cream and I because it uh, freeze which just gets real so it's hot and um, it's a biofront for my muscle or knee it's a good uh, your head muscle relax for when you go you at night a and what torch is um, the toilet what do they I took is a power for is, uh, your battery uh, on your foot pack can charge in your um, is your iPhone stuff like that bro. is quite expensive I understand because in most places you expect can actually but well, you can get your irritated stuff so you can charged bro. I got a uh, um, uh, stereo reach lots of people use the tablet uh, but and, uh, a lot of people didn't like the tablets so it made them feel a bit ill but I've got a stereo pen and you can sterilize a litre of water at a time, and that's very handy. So, but to be honest, you can buy the water, buy the bottle, which is which is fine. Uh, yeah, it gets expensive, but it's a pain in the ass having to, to keep uh, doing your uh, sterilizing your water. So you can buy a bottle of water. Lots of uh, sweets, um, gun drops, need these. This is great for carbohydrates to keep you going during the day. And Everyone goes on about what about energy bars. The best thing is Snickers at the airport. Just buy one of these bags full of the Snickers. Uh, you know, get about 50 of these Snickers. They're great. And these got lots of nuts. Good for energy. But then you can actually get, obviously get the energy bars. What I did find is that the energy drink by SIS, the upper levels, was very, very useful because you are absolutely tired out. And if you need a boost, the, the energy drinks... Are, are a must because uh, believe me it is uh, very tiring uh, spare batteries um, spare camera battery you will need little trick for those when you go to bed at night the uh, the cold does actually um, make your battery life a lot shorter so uh, make sure that you put when you go to bed in, at night put your clothes in the bed with you to keep them warm and your batteries and your phone because they actually do um, make your battery life longer then you've got uh, plasters and I took some syringes as well just in case because you never know uh, the other thing that you will need a lot of wet wipes because there are no showers you, we didn't shower for two weeks so wet wipe shower so three or four or five packets of these very useful um, for having a wash um, slippers at night 
goes rushing around uh, you will be drinking a lot of water so you do tend to go to the toilet an awful lot so um, slippers are a must um, I took spare t-shirt um, socks and things in my bag so in the day in case you got wet you ring obviously on the sleeping bag you need just absolutely you really do need a dab in a sleeping bag this is fantastic I've got kept me warm so night you know, actually, um, wearing silk in this at uh, line I actually found <laughs> so if it was you long too much uh, uh, at night you would wear this and on too hot you'd firm so socks but it's not it was good to have silk one um, uh, so, but that's the same so this is a uh, and uh, uh, see fiber uh, see um, towel for it's quick thing which is very useful. Um, right. of course one of the key things is your boots um, this a really good pair of boots is needed when if you are you are going over make sure you get your boots at least nine months before uh, and get them worn in do not take new boots you will still get blisters on the way down at night uh, the last three days coming down from base camp you're going downhill for three days and it is absolutely a killer so and you will get blisters on your feet just because you're using your uh, your shoes differently um, on the bags you need a good day pack this is a 26 litre day pack in here you keep all your um, obviously the water you, what you need during the day so you need to keep all your layers in here your jackets need to come down waterproof trousers and then you've got all your um, medical kit your drink, uh, food as in um, snacks and things you need to take a good bag sturdy bag you're only allowed 10 kilos to so make sure the bag is as light as possible this is waterproof um, and i do advise that you take these the, the bags the waterproof bags keep closing because if it does rain stuff will get wet so i've got uh, stuff for dirty bags uh, clothes then all different size sacks just to um, keep stuff in my i brought a big sack for the sleeping bag to make sure your sleeping bag doesn't get wet um, so that's it uh, it looks an awful lot of stuff but believe me this is all you can take and uh, one last thing if you do have bad knees uh, some knee uh, um, supports for for the last few or three days because it does get really difficult on your knees uh, you'll have an amazing time uh, my only advice is um, listen to the guides they'll tell you to drink water uh, drink a lot of water take it easy uh, don't worry about altitude sickness uh, it is a lot of it's in your mind um, and uh, just enjoy everything because it's an absolutely amazing experience and hopefully uh, this will give you a bit of an idea of the things you need to take thanks a lot